Hey everyone, welcome to my Never Winter Let's Play. Before we start playing, I want to share one verse of the day from 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Thank you. Hi, welcome to my very first Let's Play of Neverwinter. This is my first time playing Neverwinter, and if you're a new player just like I, just like me, I hope you can follow along with this uh, YouTube video and hopefully YouTube series that I will do. In um, this YouTube series, I want to try um, to get as far in the game as possible. I've heard that there are uh, many microtransactions in the game, which honestly, I could not expect anything less because this is a free game nonetheless, and there will be microtransactions, and I want to keep uh, this uh, Let's Play of Neverwinter as cheap as possible. Meaning, I can't promise that I will not spend any money on the game. I might need to spend money, but I will try my best to not spend any unnecessary uh, money on the game. I am playing as a half orc, uh, a ranger half orc named Draven. This is his character sheet. I will display it on the screen right now. There you go. I will leave uh, the character sheet in the description below in case you need it. And as I mentioned earlier, I am a new player to Neverwinter. I've never played the game before. Um, but I have done some research beforehand on this game. 
I tried researching whether or not this game is worth worth playing, worth investing time in 2020. Um, people online seem to, seem to say that it is a great time to play 2020, and there are even people giving tips and tricks on how to grow on your Neverwinter gameplay. There are people saying that this game is not worth playing uh, from the very beginning in 2020, uh, mostly because everybody playing this game is already way up there in the end game uh, with very high levels, and it, uh, it takes lots and lots of grinding in order to get to that level, and it's just not worth the time anymore. Especially um, considering the fact that this is an MMORPG, meaning that the social side of this game is very important. In other words, um, if there's no one playing the game with you, then there's no point in playing the game at all. So given that uh, there are loads of people online sharing tips and tricks on how to, on how to start playing Neverwinter in 2020, I really want to give it a shot. I really want to see whether or not this game is worth investing time in or not. And I hope that you guys can follow along with me on my journey on Play Never Winter. I hope that I'm not just wasting my time here. And yeah. Now, um, this very first episode of Never Winter is very straightforward, and that's because we're only doing the tutorials. They read your footsteps, uh, they tell you exactly what to do, you won't get confused in this very, um, very beginning of the game. Uh, there's really not much going on. Um, and because of that, I would like to spend this time to introduce myself. I'm here to start my very own uh, Christian gaming ministry. I am here to share God's love and my faith in Jesus to the gaming community. Now, I'm not the very first person to do this. There are um, a couple of people out there, a couple of organizations out there already doing this. But essentially, if you don't know what Christian gaming ministry is, um, which I won't blame if you don't, um, if you know sports ministry, I think the Salvation Army is doing uh, sports ministry. It's kind of like that, except it's for non-athletic people. <laughs> Don't worry though, if you're not a Christian, you are definitely fine to stay. Um, I will not serenade my gaming videos with Bible verses. Yes, the core of my YouTube channel, the core of my gaming videos is to, is to share uh, God's love, God's words, but I still want to keep my gaming uh, videos as professional as possible. Whenever I'm gaming, whenever I'm recording myself gaming, I want to keep it uh, super professional. With that said, I am still an amateur. Uh, this is my first time ever recording my voice for a YouTube video such as this, which is probably why I sound super awkward. I'm sorry if I sound awkward. And if I'm cringy, I am super sorry. I really don't want to be cringy. This entire idea of recording your voice for a YouTube video seems very alien to me. It's so easy when uh, g other gaming YouTubers uh, do it. It's really hard when you try to do it for yourself, at least for me. I am recording uh, myself outside of gameplay, um, post gameplay. And this is probably like my fifth take or something. But yeah, um, pray for me. I hope I get better both in my commentary skills and in my Neverwinter skills. Uh, I, I want to share uh, one Bible verse per episode per video of mine. And this, uh, this video's Bible verse is from 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, as shown earlier in the video. I will also leave the verse of the day um, in the description below as well as at the end of the video. So you can go, you can go ahead and check it out. Anyways, uh, back to Neverwinter, uh, or I did some research on the game before I played. Um, I learned that there are three main uh, styles of playing, types of players. Uh, there are the tanks, healers, and DPS. Now, tanks and healers are fairly straightforward. Uh, tanks mean you protect your teammates uh, from monsters, from mobs. Uh, healers means you're in charge of keeping your teammates alive, essentially. Uh, you heal them. And then there's the DPS. The DPS is the main damage dealer. That means your, uh, your main job uh, is to deal as much damage deal as much damage as possible. And um, the class that I choose right now is Ranger. I'm a half orc Ranger. And Ranger is an example of a class that can make a good uh, DPS. And the reason I choose Ranger, there are other classes that can make good DPSs, such as Rogues and Warlocks. Uh, but the reason I chose Ranger was because Rangers uh, can be good, um, can have range attacks as well as melee attacks. And I kind of want to have both ends of the spectrum, since I'm not uh, really sure um, which one I'm comfortable with yet. but um, if you're watching this gameplay, uh, you may notice that I kind of prefer range, maybe just because I'm a coward. I don't know, but yeah, we'll see. I'm enjoying the game so far. I really like the cutscenes. Uh, the controls are very simple. Uh, you get the hang of it, no, no doubt of that. But I have heard that um, this game gets uh, much harder in terms of grinding, in terms of doubling up and grinding. Um, you need to grind a lot in order to progress any, anywhere in the game. Uh, in, order to, in order to level up, you need to uh, do lots and lots of grinding. But we'll just see how it goes. We'll just see how well I can 
grind, I guess. Also, I want to set some goals for my gameplay. Um, I heard that joining a guild, especially uh, when you're early on in a game like this, is very important. Joining a guild uh, can help you progress through the game quicker. And yeah, I really want to keep my eyes open for guilds. I haven't done any thorough research on guilds and or joining guilds, but I really want to I really want to know more about how to join guilds and stuff. Also, I want to get a companion as soon as that's available for me. A companion is like a pet that your character can summon in order to help them in combat. And each uh, companion has their own unique stats. And also really want to do uh, as much research as possible on companions so that I can pick the right companion for me. If you're watching this happen to be a Neverwinter veteran, if you're already in the end game, if you're already way ahead of me in the game, um, and if I said something inaccurate or if you want to add something to what I just said, uh, please do so in the comments below. I accept any new information, any form of criticism of my gameplay, and also of my commentary skills, if you will. So please be nice to me. And uh, since I am recording this post-gameplay, by the way, the reason I'm recording this post-gameplay was because I chickened out when I was recording uh, my own voice uh, during gameplay. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I chickened out. I, I was, I was, I don't know, I was uncomfortable recording my own voice while playing the game it feels very weird and i just decided to stop and now i'm recording my voice um after gameplay and now i really don't have anything much to say oh wait i do have one last thing um i will leave the links to all my research uh to all the videos and articles that have helped me in my research of uh this early never winter uh, let's play and i'll leave links to those uh, videos and articles on the description below um, they came from actual never winter experts uh, who are much better in the game than I am, who are much, much, much knowledgeable in the game than I am. Um, so check out their videos, check out the articles, maybe they can help you. And yeah, that's all I can say for now. So yeah, just enjoy the gameplay. I believe I'm in your debt. You fight quite well. When you are ready, we should move on to protect his enclave.
you can see, the fight is not yet won. You've proven yourself quite capable. So I must ask for your help with a concerning matter. I've just received a report of fighting in the vaults beneath the Hall of Justice. The seer, Sabella, was down there doing research. Zuna, Makos, and I must remain here to defend the Enclave. Therefore, the task falls to you to ensure Sabella's safety. Borrow a steed from Private Wilfred here. Time is of the essence. Taking advantage of the chaos. They're trying to seize the crown of Neverwinter. The seers down there, under guard. Y you have to stop them.
The Nashers snuck into the vaults during Belindra's attack on the city. They're here to steal the crown of Neverwinter! They almost got to it. And they angered the dead resting in the lower vaults. They're fighting each other down there right now. I sealed them in behind the hidden entrance to the lower vaults. There's a secret switch in the bookcase on the back wall. Stop the Nashers before they get the crown! You're here. Oh, wait. Are you? Here, I mean. Oh, quite. I have trouble at times being sure if I'm viewing the present or one possible future. I'm a seer, you see. In most of my visions, you rescued me. But there were a few where I had to escape on my own. And a handful I'd rather not dwell on. At least now, I know I can relax. Apart from not being eaten, I'm glad you rescued me, as I came to Neverwinter specifically to meet you. Yes, my visions show your actions will have a great impact on the future of Neverwinter and the entire Sword Coast. I am here both to assist you and be assisted by you in my own quest. No, no details now. I've delayed you long enough and you have important things to do. Besides, I have to do some more research in the library here before you can help me. Or did I already do that? Um, no. Yes, yes, I still have research to do. Just come see me in the library once you're done in Blacklick. Oh, forget I mentioned that. Come see me when you can.
You're too late! The crown belongs to the Nashers! 